The death of a patient in this village in 2008 brought home the need for checks on doctors from abroad. An out-of-hour service in Cambridgeshire hired a German GP to fly in for a shift. They didn't know Daniel Ubani had been turned down for work elsewhere in England. A system of local lists meant concerns about his fluency in English weren't shared. David Gray paid for that with his life, given a lethal dose of a painkiller. His family have campaigned since then for greater checks. Ministers say from April, doctors will have to prove they speak English to work in the NHS, and that information will be held on one national list. We hugely value that, that a lot of what uh, overseas doctors do. and uh, They work very well in the NHS and uh, make a huge contribution. But it's only, only right that anyone who works and looks after patients as a doctor needs to be able to speak English, and that's what this is about. So how will this change language checks and doctors? Those coming from outside Europe are already checked by the medical regulator. So the biggest difference will be for doctors from inside the EU, who will now face new checks on language skills to go on the NHS list for England. The fact is that patients should expect the doctor who is treating them to be competent, to be able to practice, to understand the systems that are working at local level. And that, frankly, is the very least that patients should expect. The government has also promised action will be taken when concerns are raised by giving the medical regulator greater powers to investigate and ban doctors. The plans have been welcomed by patients' organisations. Brownman Jeffries, BBC News.